Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed, and today I'm gonna to show you how I do a stuffed grilled chicken breast. I'm gonna use some mozzarella cheese, some spinach, some sun-dried tomatoes to get some flavor on the inside of that chicken. Of course, I'm gonna put some great seasonings on the outside. We're gonna do it all on the grill. Let's get to cooking. So the first thing we're gonna to do to this chicken breast is create some pockets in it so we can put all of our cheese and our spinach and our sun-dried tomatoes. So I'm just using the side and the sharp knife. We're just gonna make a shallow cut right in the center of it. And you don't wanna go all the way down. We're just opening it up. See how I've created a pocket? Go ahead and knock this out on all these chicken breasts. We'll lay them open here. So we have our pockets made. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in some of our ingredients here. I'm starting with a little bit of sun-dried tomato, just a few strips. I've taken them and drained the oil really well off the outsides of them. You wanna get them dry, because we don't want a lot of extra moisture inside this chicken. It's already juicy. Then we're gonna take some spinach that I've just wilted just a little bit so it doesn't give off as much moisture. And we're just gonna put that on the inside. And then we're gonna to top it off with some mozzarella cheese. And I've just got some thick slices of mozzarella. We're just gonna add these right to the center. Now remember that cheese is gonna get hot and it's gonna melt down. It's gonna cover these toppings. That's what's gonna make it really, really rich. It tastes really, really delicious. You don't wanna over cheese it because it'll run everywhere. Just to finish off the inside, we're gonna add a touch of salt, pepper, garlic. That's my AP seasoning. Just to give it a little extra flavor. That looks good to me. Now let's close these breasts up. Now to keep them sealed, I've took some wooden skewers and just cut them off a little bit, soaked them in some water so they don't burn. Then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of skewer them. You wanna go through the tops and bottoms. And we're closing them off. I'm just gonna use a couple on each chicken breast. Now we're just getting that AP season, that salt, pepper, garlic on the bottom side. I'm gonna hit it with just a little bit of barbecue rub too. This is the part in the recipe where you could use your own rubs or your own seasonings, whatever you like on chicken. Light dose AP, hit it with a little more barbecue rub for color, great taste. It's gonna make it look great as it grills up. Now these stuffed breasts are ready for the grill. Let's go fire up the big green egg and get them to cook it. For grilling these chicken breasts today, I'm gonna to set up a two zone fire in my big green egg. I'm gonna get a good bed of lump coals over on the left hand side. We're gonna leave a void over here on the right. I'm using a couple wax cubes to get the fire going. And just leave the lid open while the coals get good and hot. You can go ahead and put your grate on when the coals are lit pretty well. Close the lid, then you wanna adjust that top vent to where it's open in all the slots. And on the bottom vent, you just need about two fingers wide. It's gonna be perfect airflow to hold that grill at 375. So I've got the egg fired up. I brought it up to about 375 degrees. It's gonna be perfect for this chicken. But we set it up for a two zone fire. For doing chicken breasts like this, you really need a hot side and a cool side. That's that two zones. And you can use any grill you want on this cook, but you really need those two zones. One so we can slow the cook down, let these chicken breasts all come up at the same time. If you cook them all in one hot zone, the outside's gonna cook before the inside gets done and it's not gonna work. Let's get these chicken breasts on the grill. So I've got my hot side over here on the left and I'm gonna put place the chicken breast over here on the right side, away from the direct heat. And they'll sit over here for about 20, 25 minutes. Then we'll go and sear them off and show you how we're gonna finish them at the very end. So now we wanna get the lid shut, let the temps come right back up, let them cook for about 20, 25 minutes, then we'll sear them off. After the chicken breasts have been on about 10 minutes, I wanna go ahead and get a chef alarm probe stuck in them so I can monitor that internal temperature. Once the chef alarm lets me know that the internal temperature is 135, it's time to sear these chicken breasts. Move them to the hot side of the fire, close the lid, and set a timer for four minutes. Once the timer goes off, go ahead and flip the chicken. And this is the point where you wanna get a probe back in it because we're cooking this chicken to 165 internal. We're just gonna keep repeating this four minute flip process until we get there. It's gonna take about 10, 12 minutes total tops. All right, we've hit internal on our chicken breast and they're looking awesome. You know, we kept them flipped there to where they wouldn't get too dark on one side, held most of our stuffing in. You're always gonna get a little bit of cheese ooze, but that's okay, we put a nice piece of cheese in it. I wanna go ahead and get these off. See the bottom side's got just as good a color as the top had. And I'm gonna get them on a platter over here. Check those chicken breasts out. Stuffed chicken breast, spinach, sun-dried tomato, mozzarella cheese, they're gonna be juicy. 
know they're going to be good. Let's get them over here and let them rest just a second before we cut into them. Okay, so I have the chicken breast on the cutting board here, and you really want to let them rest about five, 10 minutes. Let that cooking process stop. You don't want to lose all the juices that we worked so hard to save inside the chicken. Now let's talk real quick about what we did today. I just took some boneless, skinless chicken breast, and I wanted to stuff them. I cut slits in them, put some mozzarella cheese, some wilted spinach, and some sun-dried tomatoes. That's all we went inside. We kind of seasoned it with a little bit of that AP rub, Close the chicken up with some skewers, season the outside, a little AP, a little barbecue rub, then we got them on a hot grill. Two zone fire, that's the most important thing to learn. You gotta have it set up to where you can cook on the cool side first, and then as they're almost done, you move them over and sear them, and that way you get juicy chicken, it won't burn up on you. And we flipped them a couple times just to make sure that our uh, color was right on the outside, because you wanna see some of the char that we have on it those grill marks that we've got, that's awesome color. When Every time it browns like that, that's just more flavor the chicken's gonna have, but it's still juicy. And this is the best part of the day. This is when I wanna cut into one of these chicken breasts, see what we're working with. Look at that, beautiful color. Chicken's done all the way through. Looks great. I'm gonna slice this one up. I'm gonna get a bite just here in a second, but I want you to see some of these look like on the inside. You got some cheese, you got the spinach, the sun-dried tomatoes, beautiful color against the outside of that chicken and that white chicken meat's done perfectly through and through. When you watch those internal temperatures, you're gonna nail that every time. I gotta get a bite of this. A ton of flavor. That AP and that barbecue rub goes real nice with the cheese and the spinach and the sun-dried tomato. That's some great grilled chicken. Real simple to do, you know, the AP and barbecue rub on the outside give it great colors, but it really lets the spinach and the sun-dried tomatoes and that cheese kind of make it real rich on the inside. Easy chicken dish. Gotta try this one at home. Fire up those grills and get to cooking. Hey, if you like what we're doing here at How to Barbecue Right, subscribe to our channel. It'll send you an email when we put out new stuff. We're gonna try to put out a video every week. You can also send questions and comments to Facebook and Twitter. We love those. We'll see you next time.